Hi, this is Ben McFadden with WTED-TV at Lenore Rhine University. Here at Lenore Rhine, a new graduate program is being developed that will be a first for this area of the state. Lenore Rhine's School of Education is now completing its first year of a new program called Teaching 411. Te Teaching 411 is technically described as an MAT 4 plus 1 in education ease. Lenore Ryan calls it Teaching 411 because a teacher candidate first completes their four-year degree in a specific discipline, then one full summer in a symposium. This summer symposium focuses on teaching strategies for their discipline, then one full year in a residency program at a local school, under the guidance of a lead teacher supervisor and professors from the university. 411 is the third master's program offered by the School of Education at Lenore Ryan. Just last year, a master's program in school leadership and a principal licensure program were developed to meet the growing needs of local school districts. Teaching 411 was developed with significant input from the college faculty, from community leaders, school administrators, and the local parents' network. I sat down with Dr. Hank Weddington, Dean of the School of Education, to tell us more about the Teaching 411 program. Hi, this is Ben McFadden from WHAT-TV. What? Dean Weddington, what makes your program different from any other across North Carolina? Well, there's certainly a number of MAT programs in North Carolina, fifth-year programs or four-plus-one programs, and I think everybody does good things within that program. Uh, I ran one at University of North Carolina, Wilmington, that was really successful for secondary students. Um, one of the things that's going to be really different is our first year summer symposium. And what I'm trying to do with that is really different, and it's really becoming um, difficult to think about faculty workload within this because it's not going to be the traditional assessment class, curriculum class, management class. It's going to be a completely integrated experience where teachers will be co-teaching, faculty here will be co-teaching across the entire group of students that will be there. We'll be looking at all of the pedagogical pieces, all of the technology issues, the social issues, um, foundations and pedagogy all wrapped into one. And we're going to capture them for a 200 hour um, experience, 200 seat hours. So when students come into this program, they're going to have to give us a year of their life, basically. This is full-time, full-blown stuff, and we're going to expect very high standards from them. They will not be allowed to progress to the residency period unless they complete that summer symposium successfully because we need to make sure we have quality control as a part of it. We're also going to be really deliberate about admissions to this program, which I think is different. Um, everybody needs enrollment to generate revenue but we can't take everybody who thinks they want to be a teacher. So we're looking at the traditional things like grade point average in the undergraduate program, um, GRE scores or MAT scores, but then we're also going to make them write to a piece of educational literature uh, to see what it's like, how they can interpret research and education and how they would apply that to what they're thinking about studying. We're also going to make them interview with a committee that involves community leaders, um, faculty from the university and faculty and administration from public schools as a part of that process. And they're going to have to teach a micro-teaching lesson so we can see that they have the kind of um, dispositions that come across in the right way that they're actually excited about being a teacher and have the skills and the social capability to be able to do that effectively. At least give us an idea of that so that we have a way to screen out those that we just don't think would be a good fit for at that point. So there's going to be some of the things. The other is the residency in itself. It's a full year of full-time teaching. We're going to do methods within that and some action research within that, but the main focus will be full-time, full-on teaching with a master teacher and a university faculty member all working together, co-teaching, co-learning together about what it means to be a teacher and how to do that well. Uh, the follow-up piece, which is the final summer experience, and I'm still rotating this in my mind of how it's going to work. The idea is preparations for your first year of teaching. Now, if I had my way, I would have partnership school districts who'd say, if your students finish this, we'll have a job ready for them at the end. I know that's not possible right now because of the current 
the economy and what we have to do. But the thought would be in that last year, or that last summer rather, um, they'd really reflect on what happened during the residency year, begin looking at the standard course of study and core standards for whatever class they were going to be teaching in the, the fall semester when they begin their stu uh, actual teaching career, preparing for that, working with teachers from that um, school that we hire, a master teacher that can mentor them and help get them ready so when they walk in day one, I've got a long-range plan for my class for that year for the classes I'll have to teach. I have lesson plans built that I can walk in with, a classroom management plan built. I know what the school improvement plan looks like at my school and how I can play a part in being a leader at that school. And I understand the demographics and the social aspects of the students, the families in the community. And I can start feeling like I'm a real professional day one and do some good things in that school. So I think that is different than some of the other programs I've been a part of, although there are very, uh, very good programs in the state already. We're just going to try to do it a little bit differently. That's great. <laughs>Hi, this is Ben McFadden. I'm here with WWTF-TV at Lenore Ryan University, and I'm talking with Jamie Linton, who's a first-year student in Lenore Ryan's MAT program. And Jamie, you're coming with a strong foundation in math. How has this first summer prepared you for classroom teaching? So the summer symposium is preparing me for my upcoming residency in a local school. It's been a really big help connecting what I learned in my undergraduate program with what I'm expected to know and do in my one-year teaching residency. Each week we watch video cases and we get to read about what's happening behind the scenes in local classrooms. And these cases really give us a chance to talk about instructional strategies, classroom management, working with diverse learners, and collaborating with parents and colleagues. We get to talk about what we're learning from these cases um, with the classmates, the faculty, and our cooperating teachers. And I'm also writing a weekly blog post to reflect on what I learned. Community-based volunteering is an important aspect of this MAT program. Tell me a little about the volunteer work you're involved in this summer. I'm glad you asked because the most exciting part of the summer for me has been participating in community-based volunteering. So I'm tutoring a small group of students every week at Central Latino, uh, making sure they continue to learn and grow over the summer. Working with those kids is the highlight of my week. I get to try out some of the strategies and tools I'm learning about in the summer symposium coursework and I'm learning more about the kinds of students I'll be teaching this year and their families and community as well. I'll get to continue volunteering for Central Latino in the fall semester too, which means I'll be able to help the kids with their homework and get to know even more about them. Hi, I'm Ben McFadden with WK12. I'm here with Teresa Santos a veteran teacher with Newton Conover Middle School. Now, Teresa, as a veteran teacher, how would you describe your experience of partnering with Lenore Ryan this school year while serving as a mentor to a pre-service teacher? This experience has been such a renewal for me as a teacher because it has been 20 years since my formal training. I really didn't know how to reach my 21st century learners. Professional development and co-teaching opportunities made available to me by the Lenore Ryan Teacher Education Faculty have been invaluable learning experiences for me. In fact, I feel like a brand new teacher myself. Teresa, how prepared do you believe your student teacher is for the real world of teaching? I believe she is going to be a phenomenal classroom teacher. The training she received through her intensive coursework fostered her ability to make practical applications in the classroom. Through an action research project, she learned the importance of connecting culturally with an individual child. Then she was able to assess this child's reading abilities and needs, make informed decisions about strategies to use with the child, and monitor his progress using the CBM program. Through this project, she now understands how important it is to meet the needs of each individual child, and I believe she is committed to do so. I would definitely want my child in her classroom. Hi, this is Ben McFadden with WLEV-TV here at Lenore Ryan University. I'm here with Dr. Tracy Bellis, who is in the School of Education. Dr. Bellis, describe, 
Dr. Bellis, describe your methods course you're teaching this semester and the types of activities and assignments you're using. This semester, I'm engaged in a literacy methods course in which students are exposed to guided reading, writer's workshop, working with words, and other essential literacy practices for the classroom. The students are exposed to ways to integrate children's literature across disciplines and cultural literature that is relevant to the diverse populations in our schools today. Students are completing a culture project in which they reflect upon their own culture and interview someone else from another culture. Um, we like to call this the ABC project. And I believe that this project um, helps teachers understand the importance of diverse perspectives and different student voices. Dr. Bellis, can you tell me a little about how this program has influenced your relationships with the students? This program affords a unique opportunity for me to mentor the students. I'm able to work closely with my students as they apply theory-based methods in their classroom. I'm able to see the direct link between um, theory and practice as they address real issues that occur in my students' classrooms. And it's a very real team approach. I feel very fortunate to be able to build this kind of relationship with them. And how has this program influenced your relationship with the middle school and the teachers you partner with? Having a strong relationship between the university and the middle school site is really essential for the students' success. Um, it's also helped me keep current the instructional practices teachers are using to impact their student achievement. I'm able to co-teach with classroom teachers and bring best practices supported by research into the classroom. Teachers that help able to help me see the practicality and theories I share with my students. It's a real partnership between theory and practice. They keep me very grounded. This is Ben McFadden with WLOL. I'm here with Jamie Litton, who's finishing up her last summer in the MA2 program. Jamie, what's been the focus of your work this summer? Well, the really cool thing about this summer is that we're getting to apply everything we've been learning and experiencing so far, and doing work that's going to help us out in our first year of teaching. So we're reviewing local school improvement plans, IEPs, EEPs, pacing guides, curriculum maps, to learn more about how local schools are implementing we're also creating unit plans and our own classroom management plans. And the work I'm doing this summer will be implemented immediately in my classroom in the fall. I feel like the summer is giving me a head start to tell me how to success my first year. I've also gotten to spend time this summer with some of the new students who are just starting out in the MAT program. Those of us who are in the second summer of the program are partnering up with the new students to help them think about what they're learning in a deeper way. We have knowledge and experiences from the year-long residency that we're able to share with them, and they have fresh new ideas to share with us too. I think this partnership has been a win-win. As you can see, Lenore Ryan's MAT 4 Plus 1 program is off to a very strong start. This year, 40 of some of the most highly qualified teachers in the state will be serving school districts across the state. I'd like to thank Dr. Hank Weddington and to these doctors-to-be, Tracy Bellis, Teresa Santos, and Jamie Linton. And this is Ben McFadden with WTED and our partner stations WLRU, WHAT, what? WWTF, WLEV, WK12, and WLOL. -L.